Will China be the savior of Ubisoft? We all heard about Ubisoft nearing bankruptcy after the massive failure of multiple properties including Skull and Bones and of course the notorious Star Wars Outlaws and now we have AC Shadows, Assassin's Creed Shadows that is looking like to be a bomb as well and that has led to a tanking in the stock market for the company itself and this is leading to a lot of speculation and that speculation is coming to a realization that Ubisoft may be purchased by Tencent, the giant gigantic Chinese conglomerate that is overall taking over the video gaming industry little by little by purchasing massive franchises and studios and this is reflecting back with the intention of purchasing Ubisoft and I think this idea that Tencent is going to come in and take over Ubisoft is leading to speculation that people think that Ubisoft may be able to be saved by this gaming company that is majorly based in China and when we know anything about China and the games that they have produced so far has been high quality games that a lot of people are fans of of course beyond the massive multiplayer games that produce like League of Legends and Fortnite we have even more games that have come out that have included interesting takes on multiple genres of titles and I think this is the thing people are speculating on that are we gonna get a better version of Ubisoft or worse version of Ubisoft because of course the games they're known for are highly known for their microtransactions and their little bit of DLC content that is inundating the market that is not in the favorable taste for a lot of gamers so people are speculating what is the point of getting a giant conglomerate like this that is not really focused on the elements of gaming that a lot of us console and PC players are focused on and what is the point of having Tencent take over Ubisoft if they'll continue some of the traditions that have flooded Ubisoft and I think that's the speculation people are having about this debate of what's going to happen once Ubisoft is purchased by Tencent and I think this hesitancy over the buyout even grows bigger when you consider the people that Tencent will be buying Ubisoft with. They're going to be buying Ubisoft with the original owners of it, the Guillemont family, a French family that started Ubisoft that promotes all the ideologies that are now in place in Ubisoft that are tanking the company. So what's the point of having Tencent there if you have the original family that's supporting the failing practices that are currently happening at Ubisoft? And I think this idea that maybe Tencent will be able to save this company, it all depends on the percentage of the buy out that Tencent has if they have over 50% control of the company then we can speculate a lot of things are going to change with Ubisoft itself because they can dictate the terms of what's going to happen with the company itself and the direction of course the Guillemot family is still going to have their say so but if Tencent has majority control we can expect a difference of opinion that is going to absolutely change Ubisoft in a positive and maybe not so fun manner of course we're going to see all the microtransactions we're going to see all the DLC content that is useless we're going to see all the things that we always see with Tencent itself which is not the best company but it actually knows how to run a gaming company successfully when it makes profit and that's the absolute opposite thing that Ubisoft currently knows how to do they don't know how to run a gaming company because they don't make games for fans anymore they make games for their personal development team that has a philosophy that's steeped in progressive politics and that is not how you run a gaming company to make your developers feel good about themselves and their political stances and that's the thing people hate about the current day Ubisoft where the current day Ubisoft doesn't care about the gamers and what content they want to actually play and having a large conglomerate like Tencent step in is going to change the shape of the entirety of the company it already boosted the stock itself the stock skyrocketed upon the news that Tencent is interested in buying the company and this is going to limit the amount of developers that we have in the space and this is a bad sign for gamers because once we have a consolidated video gaming market with developers under steep tent poles of these giant conglomerates this is how we get the Ubisofts of the world where they're following dictates based on the board of directors that are highly focused on DEI investment bank principles that have nothing to do with making a profit and more have to do with the progressive philosophies that they want to push onto the gamers and we see this with how big it is in Microsoft these are companies that are steeped in these philosophies that are focused on political activism rather than producing good content for gamers and this is playing out in a detriment to the entire video gaming space where companies in the west are failing while companies in east asia are highly successful we just see it with tencent and how it's making so much money where it can come in and buy out ubisoft we just saw it in korea with shift up and after the development of stellar blade they went public and became a billion dollar company we just saw 
saw with From Software in Japan where they increased the base pay salary for the entire company up 11.8% because of the success of the company. And this is a situation we're seeing all throughout the gaming industry in East Asia where there's high amount of success, more hires, growth and expansion while we're seeing the opposite happen in the West. And you can't blame the economy because we see the economy working for successful game studios that cater to the fan base that they're trying to please. And this is the opposite with Western game developers. They're trying to anger the fan base. They want to actively pursue a hatred campaign against the fans. And it's working where the fans are just not buying their games anymore. Of course, there's suspicions around Tencent just wanting the data of the players for Ubisoft. It is all about the data. And I think that's a true statement. But that's just business nowadays. You give your data to a company, it might be buy out. You give your DNA to a company, it might be bought out by another foreign national or a foreign country. That's what's happening with 23andMe. So if you give your data to someone, you can expect it to be sold because data is a valuable market right now. And this is a situation we're going to see with Tencent. Tencent is buying Ubisoft's valuable market data and knowledge as well so this is the negative we can attribute to the 10 cent buyout as well and including everything else surrounding china and maybe its censorship standards that may interrupt what we want to see in gaming but so far what we've seen with league of legends fortnite is still doing a good job of representing what the gamers actually want to see at least visually in the gaming market so for me i think it's still positive there where we still may get a viable game but it's going to take a lot of commitment to firing a lot of people and we see this happening with speculation where they're going to have to fire at least 40 percent of the staff because ubisoft is too bloated has over 18,000 employees and you have that in comparison to nintendo that has 7,000 employees and is generating 60 billion dollars a year is valued way higher than ubisoft then you really realize okay you're just doing nothing with that 18,000 people and you're not even producing a large amount of games this means it's just a lot of people sitting there doing nothing so Ubisoft definitely has an opening of firing 50% of the staff I think even 70% will lead to a better outcome for Ubisoft and China and maybe along with Elon Musk are the only people that will go that far in firing 50% of the staff and I think that's the situation we may see with Tencent buying out and having majority control of the company and hopefully that's the case for this company because there's a lot of people to fire you can look at some of the people complaining about the situation and failures of the games for the past few years where they're still blaming the fans they're saying the gamers are the social poison within the market that are destroying our lovely games like star wars outlaws and assassin's creed shadows and this is not the type of person you want within the gaming industry that hates gamers that wants to insult them consistently and constantly even after you're still asking them to buy your game and this is the situation at Ubisoft where you have different factions of people that are more focused on their personal gender racial standing rather than actually what's going on in the game company you have the women in non-binary at Ubisoft you have women in data at Ubisoft you have LGBTQ at Ubisoft you have minorities at Ubisoft uh, Asian Pacific African you have all these faction organizations within your company that are fighting each other for a dominant control and stake of what's happening in the direction of the game games itself you have neurodiversity group you have french queer bureau you have so much factionized groups within your company where they're fighting for influence in the game company itself rather than producing good content and that is the result that we're seeing within the release of games coming from ubisoft you see no unity in the games you see a buggy mess that was made through compromise rather than inspired vision and that was the result of a massive failure of a games company that was once heralded at the peak of gaming but will ubisoft be saved by china i think there's a high possibility it will be saved but it won't be for the better and it won't be for the worse i think it will just be middling for the most part and i think it just depends on the trends of what's happening in the gaming community if the gaming community is pushing towards more adventurous inspiring games i think tencent is probably the company that will just follow that trend and it just depends on us gamers what games we buy and tencent will probably listen and go oh they're buying this we need to make something like that and i think that's what tencent is it's just 
following the trend. And I think as gamers, it's still up to us to make what the trend is and Tencent will just follow. So ultimately, it's better for the gamers that Tencent has control. I think if it was Ubisoft by itself, they will never follow the trend. They will stick to their guns and still make terrible content that no one wants to play for 10 years until bankruptcy. And probably not even for 10 years, probably three more years until they're bankrupt. And I think that's the situation we're seeing here. So Tencent purchasing Ubisoft probably good for the gaming community It's gonna have its flaws but I think ultimately they're gonna follow the trend especially if us gamers sent that positive trend for good games that are meant for us to play but that's just my thoughts on the situation you tell me like comment share subscribe this is Wagner knows why catch you next time